Good morning, you guys. Oh my god, classic Tuesday. That is actually a Monday, but it's Tuesday. But it was a long weekend. I just got back last night, which was Monday night, President's Day from Austin, visiting family. And so I didn't have time to work out this morning. Barely thought I was gonna be able to make it into the office because I normally, if I'm like getting in town the night before, I normally just work from home the next day. But it's a big office day, so I wanted to go. Or I was gonna get FOMO and there's free lunch. Fingers crossed for gluten free. I just threw on this Abercrombie shirt, these jeans from dynamite with my sneakers and yeah i need to pack my bag you guys i'm like i'm so tired and like this weekend i drank so much more than i usually do so i'm kind of like breaking out and stuff so this week is kind of gonna be a cleanse for me i feel like it's an exciting week so i'm excited to do a little vlog with you guys i need to pour some almond milk in a cup for me. Your ear's gonna start going off because I just put you guys on it, but I need to pack my almond milk for the latte I'm gonna make. When I get there, I barely have any left, so I don't really think this is gonna be enough, but whatever. <laughs> and uh, I'm just gonna pack a Go Macro bar for breakfast because I don't really have anything else. And then I was using my work tote as a carry-on last night. So I kind of still have everything here. So... This is my personal laptop. No, I don't need that. Charger, I always like to bring in. I just feel like my phone is always dying. Rode lip tint, a necessity, you guys. I should powder my face. I did not do that this morning. My face, it's kind of oily. I guess I can bring this with me. It won't hurt. And then I need to get my work laptop, obviously. Okay. <laughs> Got hand sanitizer in here. I'm gonna put on my AirPods. Hand cream and my Hydro Flask. I actually need a sip of water. I haven't had anything. <laughs> Grab my keys. Okay, so I think I've got everything. Let's do an office day. I'm excited. I have a lot to catch up on. I feel like after the long weekend, because I also took Friday off, so I have Friday and Monday off. So it's gonna be a busy office day. But we got this. If you're new, I'm Lucia, I'm 24, I live in Chicago, and I work 9 to 5 in advertising. So let's do it. Woo! Let me try to give myself energy right now. I'm so tired. I also, my office has cold brew on tap, so I actually might do that. I'm kind of like, I'm craving that for some reason, even though it's pretty cold outside. But I need caffeine, I'm like tired. always turns on when I put you guys on top of it, but I'm back home. It was a really busy day at the office. Also, I'm going on like the last possible day of washing my hair. Honestly, probably a bit past that, but I'm doing hot yoga tonight because I didn't have time to do it this morning. And I just, I didn't want to wash my hair before I did hot yoga because my hair just obviously always gets like really sweaty after hot yoga so that is my plan but you guys i'm like so tired i feel like i haven't had a chance to really like settle in since landing last night but i'm glad i did go to the office because it was good to just like see people and it was really productive with work stuff like probably here i would have been less productive so it was good to go in i'm just really tired now i'm gonna make myself an element to get some hydration going I'm very tired. I'm gonna get out of these clothes and go ahead and get in my hot yoga stuff even though it's like five. I left the office a little bit early. I feel like everyone always leaves at like four, which is kind of nice. But my yoga class isn't until 7.15. So I got a lot of time, which is amazing. I'm so tired. Hopefully I'll have more energy tomorrow. I feel like I'm so low energy at the start of this vlog. But cheers. I am gonna get changed 
and clean up the apartment a little bit and unpack my suitcase and stuff like that. But it was a productive work day, a bunch of in-person meetings. So it was fun to go in and see everyone. So yay, overall a good day. And they catered gluten-free sandwiches. Well, like not for everyone, but they had gluten-free sandwich options today, which was in crayop because I didn't have to go buy lunch. So saved some money and I have like no groceries. I did pick up some almond milk though on the way home that I'm gonna put in the fridge for my lattes tomorrow and my protein shake later tonight because I do need that for sure. Hi guys, <laughs> my face is super swollen I feel like probably because <laughs> I've been crying a lot but I just wanted to update you guys. I wasn't 100% sure where this vlog was gonna go but obviously this isn't completely out of the blue but Vicente and I broke up literally <laughs> tonight, so it's very fresh. I don't even know why I'm vlogging. I think it's just like cathartic. I mean, I've been on the phone with friends for the past like few hours, so like it's not, you know, as fresh. Oh my God, my eyes are so swollen. But yeah, I don't even know if I'm gonna end up posting this, but I just like, it's hard for me to not be honest with you guys and just like on social media about what I'm going through and I just know like this is a very common thing that people deal with so I just like want to be open and honest about it with you guys like this is what's happening in my life and yeah it really sucks but I'm gonna keep like all of the details private just because like I just don't feel comfortable sharing that sort of thing online and also out of respect to Vicente and like the relationship that we had together that's just like a boundary that I'm gonna hold in terms of sharing about this online but that's what's happening with me this week so that is the big life update i didn't know this was gonna be that type of vlog honestly but and i still don't know if i'm gonna include this when i post this but i just feel like it makes sense to update you guys i don't know what that means yet in terms of me the apartment i don't know what it means in terms of like the immediate future and like things changing because we did live together so that's like a logistical thing we're gonna figure out but for tonight i'm here at the apartment and i'm it's late now i've been talking to people for like so long i'm gonna go to sleep i'm gonna do my skincare and go to sleep if, if i can if not i'll watch like love island i guess or something but oh my god this is just like surreal honestly but i know that i can get through it i just know it's gonna be hard so okay <laughs> i'm gonna go to bed i'll see you guys in the morning my eyes have never been so swollen i don't think hi guys i just realized i haven't updated you all day i was heating up the nespresso machine like a long time ago and i ended up having a therapy session so then i got distracted by that but it's wednesday it's crazy to think that valentine's day was like a week ago you guys i'm like i'm fine but i'm like also not because like obviously <laughs> anyway my friend Mal sent me some sweets, which is so nice of her. They're from Sweet Mandy Bees, which I hadn't heard of. She asked me for a gluten-free bakery and I said Mindy's and I think she might have misheard me, but no, obviously like that's like totally fine. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but it's cool because I didn't even know about this place, so now I do. So it was a cool thing. So I got that and then I also got in a PR package from road which is very exciting i just deleted facebook instagram and reddit off my phone i just feel like i've been kind of doom scrolling and i just don't think that's good for me and i just think it'll be good for me to have some time off social media while i'm like processing things but i really want to make a coffee i hadn't had i haven't had one yet today and i got like four hours of sleep it was like it was it was rough sleeping you guys this is like probably the realest vlog i feel like i'll ever make i'm gonna make a coffee because i just feel like i need that and yeah i'm so thankful to my friends they have been so supportive i've just been talking with them all morning all night i have my therapist but yeah this is just really hard i also like i really need to wash my hair i scheduled a workout class for 4 p.m i also went on a walk this morning and got myself a crepe from brew which is like my favorite food and uh, yeah <laughs> okay wait this is espresso so i need to put the 
milk frother, but there's just so many changes that are gonna happen and like so many logistics to figure out. I'm just really stressed and overwhelmed. I feel like it's been hard to really focus at work today. I mean, obviously, but I also feel like I just haven't like processed everything yet because it's not 100% final. Like it is that we're broken up, but it's not 100% final that like, like all of the logistics and stuff. But I'm going to do my milk. I stayed at my aunt and uncle's house this weekend who live in Austin and they had a Keurig and the Keurig milk frother that they had was so good. They really frothed the almond milk and I feel like I struggle to froth the almond milk in the Nespresso frother. So like, I don't know if you guys have any tips for that, but I'm also so behind on social media and editing. Obviously I'm taking a social media break for Instagram and TikTok, but I do want to get back on track with YouTube editing because I just, it's been hard for me to find the energy <laughs> to edit videos just because I'm so emotionally exhausted and editing is like, it's a lot. Like it's not emotionally exhausting to edit, but it is when you like, are editing a vlog of your week where like you were having serious conversations that like I wasn't ready to share with you guys yet about what was going on and like it's just been tough for me to edit that but I don't want to like be behind on like all my goals for this year in social media because obviously like I just I don't want to fall behind I want to continue to work hard so I'm like I'm struggling to find a good balance with that like I need to take time but I also it's good to like distract yourself and keep working and like keep being yourself and not just like putting your life on pause but I don't know you guys I'm just overwhelmed <laughs> which I think is normal it is weird though like I deleted TikTok and Instagram off my phone and I've been like mindlessly trying to like scroll on it like I'm like searching for the app on my phone just like mindlessly it's been like <laughs> It's been like three hours and I've done that like a few times already. I'm like, wow, that would have just totally sent me on a rabbit hole that I didn't need to be on. So glad I deleted that. My One of my friends gave me that idea because like I think social media in general is hard, but also when like social media is a huge part of my life and like career, like not my primary career, but you guys know what I mean. It's like, it's a hard thing to navigate. <sighs> you guys, this is crazy. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this phone is a little better. Not like 100%. It's 2 p.m. now, so I need to get back to work, but that is my check-in with you guys. 15 hours post breakup, I guess. I don't even know. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay, you guys, I am going to my yoga class. <laughs> Trying to hold it in for this, but I am excited to be going because since I was out of town this weekend, it's been a hot minute, almost an entire week since I've gotten a good workout in, so I know this is gonna feel amazing. It's so nice outside. I don't even think I need a jacket. It's like 63 degrees randomly. Thank you, God, for giving me a beautiful day today. <laughs> Hi, guys. Time for a little update. I did hot yoga. I did hot yoga just now, washed my hair, took the shower, which felt really good, and I did some cleaning of the apartment because I just think, like, things have been all over the place and I still hadn't unpacked from my weekend trip. So I just feel a bit refreshed, and I'm gonna go pick up some sweet green. That's, that's that on that. <laughs> Hey guys, it is Thursday. I'm kind of like a zombie I feel like today, but I've actually been so productive. I'm really proud of myself. Obviously, like the elephant in the room that you might be thinking about is that me and my boyfriend lived together. So obviously that is like a whole logistical mess in terms of figuring out what to do about this situation. And today I think I made major strides in like my budgeting and just like figuring out what that means for me and what I'm gonna do. And I also have just booked a lot of stuff on my calendar. So this morning I did vinyasa flow, which is a great way to start the day. I feel like that's the first day in a minute where I've like gotten up and out like early in the morning and stuff. But I have just been planning the next week and a bit longer than that too. All of the things that I basically 
want to do because all my friends are just telling me to like keep myself busy go out spend a lot of time with friends and stuff so i thought i would just like give you guys the rundown of what i'm planning on doing so today i'm gonna call one of my friends on a phone and talk to them and then i'm going to this birthday party it's actually for a bunch of girls that i like love they are so sweet but i'm not as close with them so i don't really feel comfortable <laughs> sharing this yet so i'm just gonna kind of go and like forget about it and just like have a fun time We'll see how that works out. I honestly, like, I'm worried I'm just um, gonna start crying, but hopefully it'll be okay. And then tomorrow I have a full day of work and I'm also going to treat myself and get my eyebrows done because they are getting a bit unshapely. And I have a quick little therapy check-in sort of thing. And then I'm going to a workout class and then I'm getting a facial with my Clean Your Dirty Face membership, which will get sent to town Friday night. And then Saturday, we are having just like such a fun day. We're going to Core Power in the morning. Then we're gonna get blowouts and go to this black tie event with the junior council. I'm so excited. And we're actually spending the night at a hotel. She was like, it would be such a good idea for you to just like get out of the apartment i think a little bit and like be in a new space so we're gonna spend the night on saturday night at the drake which will be fun and then tea at the drake on sunday which is just like the cutest little girl thing that i've been wanting to do for so long but i haven't had an opportunity so excited we're doing that and then she leaves sunday afternoon i'm gonna go grocery shopping and i already booked myself a yoga class like i've literally like i have planned everything like down to the nitty gritty like even when i'm working out and stuff and then monday and like the rest of the week i'm obviously working but i have a lot of just like fun plans throughout the week so monday night i have a dinner i'm going to like an influencer dinner i'm also trying to just plan a lot of dinners because cooking is just not my thing as you guys know like i've kind of been getting into it but i stopped my like meal service thing it was just getting too expensive and i just think it's it'll be really nice for me to not have to like cook too much um and just like get some good food at different places so monday night i have that influencer dinner tuesday night i'm gonna get my nails done Wednesday night, I'm going to the opening of Mrs. Doubtfire, the musical. Thursday night, I have a book club dinner that I'm probably not gonna read the book for, but it'll just be fun to like hang out with people and stuff. I got an invite to go to Planta Queen, so I'm gonna bring one of my friends with me, where normally I would bring my boyfriend to those sort of things. Saturday, I have a paid speaking engagement, which we kind of like you know take up most of my time and energy that day sunday i got invited to an influencer workout class and i'm gonna invite one of my friends that i haven't caught up with in a while and we're gonna get smoothies after i don't know why i'm like telling you all this but i guess just like if you're also kind of going through the same thing like these are examples of things that you could plan for decided to sign up to be a tutor as like a volunteer opportunity which is something i've been thinking about doing for a while but i just feel like i haven't had the time so i'm like okay now like i might as well just do that and then just like more dinners and things with friends that I need to plan. That is like kind of the next like week and a half. So after that, I don't know exactly all of my plans, but I think like we got a good stacked schedule for now, which will be great. It's already 3.30. I still have some work I need to finish up. And then this birthday party is at 7.15. So I'll need to get ready and also go pick up some chips and salsa, which is what I'm contributing. So that's me. I kind of look like a mess, but I'm going to pull myself together for my first outing tonight. So yay. <laughs> okay guys i got ready while calling one of my friends which was really nice i just did like the most basic makeup i can do my skin is honestly really breaking out i think from just like not getting enough sleep and stress and everything so i'm gonna try to just like go on an alcohol cleanse i was thinking like obviously i just feel like it's like it's fun to just like go out in this situation to like clear your head but i think i'm gonna try to go on like an alcohol cleanse so that i don't you know get like a lot of permanent breakouts because that would just really be a sucky thing to deal with on top of everything else but anyway i just wearing like a t-shirt from dynamite and actually the pants are from dynamite too and my platform sneakers i am gonna go to this birthday party i'm gonna pick up some chips and salsa on the way i think it's gonna be fun i listen to a nice podcast on the way we're taking the cta because i feel like i've been bad about like ubering so many places recently so yeah that is my plan I'm a little nervous for the birthday party because I just don't want to like get emotional but I know that I can just like always go to the bathroom or something and like I'm just I'm excited to like take my mind off of things hopefully and just like have a fun time it's a birthday party
morning guys it's friday i'm honestly feeling like i don't know like i just imagined myself like constantly sobbing all day every day and i think just because i had time to kind of like process the potential of a breakup before the breakup even happened i feel so much better like i was really worried about the party last night i was like oh my god i'm gonna start crying and it was just so fun i was able to take my mind off things and just like have good laughs and stuff i stayed there for like four hours it was really exactly what i needed and i'm so glad i didn't tell anyone because it was just such a fun distraction obviously i'm gonna tell them eventually <laughs> and like it's like important to be able to like share those things with your friends and like you can still have a good time when they know it but like just i think that was like the right decision not to tell them last night i got some coffee i'm out of my routine but i planned a lot of fun stuff for me to do today just like self-care since i don't have social plans today and it's a friday but my friend rachel is coming into town tonight and we're gonna have the best weekend together so i'm really excited about that yeah i think things are just surreal and i think i'm like you know stuff with the apartment is just very stressful and i think also like this is just such a surreal thing that i'm like not it's not hitting my brain yet but i do need to be productive this morning i have a fair amount of calls today a fair amount of errands that i have booked on my calendar already so i'm gonna change into something so i'm not in my pjs and then get to work okay guys i had a spontaneous call pop up in the time i was gonna go run and get an acai bowl so i'm gonna join this next call because I can just listen in. It's a training on my phone with my AirPods in and then just like walk and go get my acai bowl during the call because I need to eat and I have another call right after this one. So <laughs> that's just what we're doing. Um, I haven't eaten anything all day and it's already noon. So I just feel like I need to do this. I'm probably going to like leave the call while I'm ordering because I have so much anxiety that I'm going to like be off mute on Zoom even though I check that I'm on mute. And just like being on Zoom on my phone gives me anxiety. But like I need to do this. I'm probably going to like leave the call while I'm ordering because I have so much anxiety that I'm gonna like be off mute on zoom even though I check that I'm on mute and just like being on zoom on my phone gives me anxiety but we gotta do what we gotta do I was trying to order online but I want to substitute almond butter instead of peanut butter and I just like feel like I'm gonna have to talk to them in person for that so let's go on a little adventure it's not too cold today which will be nice so it'll be good to get outside okay you guys update I Got my acai bowl. I've barely had time to eat it though. And I actually put it in the fridge right now because I've just been in between meetings. And so I haven't had enough to eat today. So I feel a bit lightheaded, but I'm going to go get my eyebrows done. I think that'll make me feel so much better. I just feel like they're so grown out and it's really been bothering me the past week, especially. So self-love, self-care, making myself feel more confident. Let's get her done. Here's the before and I'll see you guys for the after. Back from my workout class. It was really good. It was really challenging, but like that's what I needed. I need to shower and then i'm going and heading to my facial and then i think i'm gonna order uber eats because that's just what i'm craving and i think i deserve a little splurge um also i got myself a new squishmallow meet oliver i just feel like i like this might make me seem like a five-year-old but i just like love having stuffed animals specifically squishmallows i just think especially like the last time i was going through a really hard time with something i got myself a squishmallow i just think it's like a sign of like healing i don't know i just I really like it. I got myself a little squishmallow named Oliver and I think he's the cutest thing ever. It's like my little pet since I don't have an actual pet. I feel like sometimes people when they go through a breakup, they like get a dog or something. Me, I get a squishmallow, okay? It felt so like gross looking this week just because like I haven't been making an effort to like get ready and stuff. So I'm really excited for tomorrow because that'll be my first day like getting ready. Except I guess I did get a little bit ready last night when i went to my birthday party but that was more chill i'm excited to get really dressed up tomorrow and i'm so excited for my friend rachel to come and i'm excited to get a facial so i just like i have all these little mini things i'm looking forward to which i think is just so important in times like this so let's shower I did my facial. I ordered moon bowls for dinner from Uber Eats. I literally already ate all of it, so I'm not going to show you guys. But yeah, and then I've just been watching Love Island. My friend Rachel is going to get here any minute now. I'm so excited. We're going to have the best weekend together. Yeah, that is my crazy life update vlog. I didn't really know that was how this vlog was going to turn out obviously but yeah i love you guys i hope if you're watching this and you're going through a breakup just know i'm sending you 
so much love and everything's gonna be okay i hope this maybe gave you some inspo on like things to do plans to make or self-care things to do to help just like distract yourself but like in a healthy way i think there's a healthy way to distract yourself and just like prioritize yourself and yeah this is gonna be such a new era for me i was in a relationship for like five and a half years which is such a long time <laughs> like it's kind of crazy to think about but yeah i love you guys i'm sending you guys so much love i feel like i've said that a million times i'm gonna start trying to look more presentable in my vlogs because i just feel like i look so bad right now but anyway i'm so grateful to you guys in this community i know that this is gonna be like a whole like healing process and then just a whole new chapter and era of my life and it's still just like all very fresh and if you're going through the same thing just know that like what's meant to be will be i just keep reminding myself that like all week and i've like it's gotten to the point that i really believe it like everything always works out even when you don't like see it at the time and i feel like that's happened to me with so many instances in life so now i feel like just more trusting of the universe and that everything happens for a reason and it's all gonna be okay and it will be hard for a period but then it'll make it a period of so much growth and opportunity and potential and just like a new direction one door closes another a window opens or whatever the phrase is so sending that energy to you guys and i will see you guys in my next vlog subscribe so you don't miss it <laughs> bye